Today is Wednesday, July 6th, and we are at 3649 Sarantin Court, and this is in Riverstone. It's been on the market for 11 days. It's five bedrooms, four baths, built in 2016. Approximate living area is 3215 under air, and then total living area is 4226. Naj, this is my new car. I just got the calipers painted red. It's an Audi, it's a hybrid. It's got, it's electric and um, motorized. It goes from zero to 60 in four seconds. Uh, sorry, Melinda, it's a guy thing. <laughs> uh, okay, so you got a three car garage. This is the Merlot floor, floor plan, two story. And uh, I believe there's one bedroom on the first floor and then the other bedrooms are all upstairs. But um, we'll take a look. So when we go up to the front, this is nice. It, you get this all open so you can put some Adirondack chairs, rocking chairs, do something here. So you have a place to come out and sit. So you can sit in the front or the back. And then when you come in, the, the flooring, is a little dark uh, and um, hopefully it picks it up. It should pick it up in, uh, it's like a coffee, dark coffee color. And so, okay, so when you walk in to the right, you have a dining room. And then if you went straight, you'd walk into the family room then to the left, you have stairs that are going obviously upstairs. And then you have another space over here, which they're using as a double office. But um, this, is, this would be considered a formal area. And I've seen other people decorate it just as a formal area. You have a couch here and you have uh, like a big mirror that you see there, but really nice light that comes in here uh, and um, and then down this hallway we have granite and then you have nice they're similar as far as the what they used for lights and faucets and whatnot and this is the what the room I was talking about so it's a good size room you have the closet, big closet, doors, eight foot doors, eight foot doors, which is nice. And you have the laundry room with granite. And, uh, and then not as many, the other house had four, but you guess you got the, the two down there and then two up top, the other one had four up top. And you got the wire on this side, the wire hanger and the washer dryer. And then you have your three car garage. You can see there's plenty of room in the three car garage. And now going back, we're gonna go into the, I'm gonna shut off the lights as I go. Go into the living area. This door here. It's just a spare closet. Again, eight foot door, and uh, nothing on this wall. Upstairs. So I would say the ceiling is ten feet because that's eight feet. So it's say about two feet on top of that. And you do have crown molding that goes all the way around. Would I say this area is squished? I wouldn't say it's squished. I would say that like the furniture they used over in this area, for example, is too big. So it does make it look like it's, um, and then they got this big chalkboard. It's kind of cool, but just takes up space. And, uh, and then here you have quartz 
And, they, and what they did was they dropped it all the way down so it's a waterfall quartz. You get the dishwasher. Then you have a nice setup over here, spice rack. And uh, actually I really like that. It's the first time I've seen something like this, this setup here, which makes it nice. Or you can have these drawers to utilize. Plenty of storage. Got crown molding in here. Nice backsplash. So this is uh, electric. We're in Riverstone, so it's electric, not gas. And then, yeah, they just have big stuff in here. So it's, um, this is, this is okay. It's, it's bordering on being a little bit squished, but it's okay. Oh, the, the master is on the first floor. That's great. Okay. So, um, we have the master, this carpet, it's going to need to be replaced. It was built in 2016. But it's no big deal. Even if you wanted to do vinyl, uh, it's about the same cost. They put crown molding in here as well. They got a funky fan. And uh, and then even if you wanted to uh, put vinyl in here, it's about the same price as, as carpet. And uh, you could easily do that throughout the entire house. Put it right on top of that wood out that's out there now. And that wouldn't be, that'd probably be around $10,000. Real big closet. And then closet on this side. Good size as well, eight foot doors. So plenty of room for both of you to utilize this. And then eight foot door going into the bathroom. And then I like the bathroom, that fact that it uh, you got a nice big tub and then I personally much prefer, I don't like to have to squeegee the glass all the time. So there's no glass here, which is nice. And then all the tile goes up to the ceiling and they use some cool tile and they used, I think there's pretty cool tile here too. And then the same thing with spot to put your makeup on. And then this, they have uh, lighting, they just, is recessed in the ceiling so they don't have lighting in the mirrors which is no big deal and you get an extra closet here and turn lights off okay so again you know, coming out here, I think it's just going to depend on the type of furniture that you, you use. You got to, I think, be cautious or aware of the, um, the size and the limitations of space. But you got plenty of room still to do everything that you need to do. Big kitchen, place the eat breakfast area, place to watch TV. So if you're cooking, you can do the same thing you're conversing with everyone. And um, before I go upstairs this time, I'm gonna go outside, mix it up. So this um, one does not have a lanai screen like the other one did. So you have um, just this area here, you could easily put some, like they did, put permanent screen here, permanent screen here, and then a screen that goes up and down right here if you wanted to, or you could put a whole cage on. Whole cage is about 15,000. And then you have your pool with a spa, then you have shallow area here. And then you have shallow area. It looks like it's about the same all the way down. So, which is kind of cool because in a pool like this, you can play 
volleyball, you can play uh, basketball, a lot of other games and stuff when it's all the same. It's probably like three or four feet and it's a good sized pool as well. And then uh, the this is facing, uh, let's see which way is it facing? Not telling us. Looks like it's facing south. But here's a view of the lake. So you got space, so you got your fence. Then you have some green space. And you have a nice wide open pool area. Oh no, it's saying that the rear exposure is north. It's interesting. So this is north, but they brought the pool out far enough. I think that you're going to be able to get sun all day or most of the day. The MLS sheet definitely says north. And then, you get, I mean, obviously you got great privacy there and great privacy here. Th these are the bushes that I was talking about that you could plant at the other house that will be able to completely give you awesome privacy. And then you can see down that between the two houses, you got some green space. And, uh, and then on the other side, I'm gonna do the same. And these have um, hurricane, not impact windows, but um, hurricane panels. And then on this side, you can see straight down, you get some green space and some space between the homes as well. And then these bushes are awesome because they give you so much privacy. Now we're going to go upstairs. And it says crown molding all in the main areas. Nice lights. So the stairs have carpet if you were going to put vinyl. My sister did vinyl in her entire house, did it herself. Her and her friend went on YouTube and, uh, and, and they did an amazing job. It came out really, really nice and it wasn't crazy expensive. So here you got a bonus room. And then you have some more bedrooms up here. This is all carpet. So you get a bedroom with a bathroom, so an ensuite with granite. You have the tall doors as well. No crown molding up here, but you have the nice tall doors. You got the bonus area and then another bedroom here with a king size bed in it. So plenty of room. Closet, eight foot doors again, you know, crown molding. Then you have another bathroom. So again, it's five bedrooms, four full bathrooms. And then we have another bedroom here. So you have three bedrooms upstairs and then two bedrooms plus a den downstairs. And two air conditioning units the second one installed in 2016 so this one was built 2016 other one was built 2017 and uh, and this is a view looking down a lot of light that comes in
get one more pass through here. Then you get that door going outside. So the difference is I see this one needs a little bit of work. And um, the other one is ready to go. This is unfurnished as well. But um, yeah, that's everything.